All right, so you're in the world of kickboxing, or maybe you're in the uh, Jeet Kune Do, and we're going to talk about progressive indirect attack. There are several ways to do this, and we're going to go through a few of them. So if I'm here outside of my dummy, okay, I have my mukjong right here. If I fake high, I'm going to kick low. It could be a leg kick. It could be a body kick. I'm just trying to kick maybe to the leg or to the, to the body. And so number one, fake high, uh, fake high to kick low. When I, when I say number one, I just kind of mean your first option, but there's no actual numbering system for this. It's just going to be how you train it, okay? So here I am, fake to kick, and I'm drawing their hands up. I'm getting them to pull their hands up so I can, I can blast them down low. Fake high, kick low. And you can do this in boxing, well, kickboxing, not boxing, but you could fake high to punch low if you want. You can be like, bam, you get the idea. Second one, or the next option, is going to be fake low to high and then kick. Okay, so fake low high, kick. And when uh, Sifu Ron does this with me, he covers a lot of distance. Like it's pretty crazy, but I'm not trying to cover all that distance. One, because the camera can only handle such a wide angle, but I'm just wanting you to understand like you go low, get the hands to kind of drop down a little bit or get them to think about coming low, and then you go up and they're like, whoa. And then boom, you kick low. Don't kick where you're moving their hands to, that makes no sense. Like if I said, okay, hey, high to low, and then I kick low, well, their hands are already went, their hands are already down, so they're gonna be able to defend that low kick. So that's why I'm going low, high, kick. Now the third one, high, low, high, kick. That's your next option. Oh, so it could be high, low, high, and then low punch if you're gonna do that. So one, two, three, boom. The fourth choice, the fourth option, is to fake a rear hand and then kick. Fake that rear hand and throw that kick. Get them to think they're going to clock them. Get them, whoa, and then you kick them low, boom, and then hit them from there. And all of these can have an attack by combination that follows it. We're just talking about the progressive indirect attack right now for the sake of this video. And then the last one is to fake the rear leg and then kick. Again, you might have had to, earlier in the fight, blast them. I'm going to put a link in this video real quick. Uh, see if we had stalled, just kind of worked this with me because that was one of my trouble areas. I couldn't really seem to figure out how to get them to buy that rear kick. And what he explained is you have to sell it earlier in the match. Like get a couple good leg kicks where they're like, oh crap, that hurts. And then you can follow through with the fake and they should believe it. So fake the rear kick and then lead kick. Fake the rear kick, lead kick. Looking back, let's talk about them really quick. So progressive indirect attack. Fake high, low kick. Fake low high, low kick. Fake high low high, low kick. Fake the rear hand, low kick. Fake the rear kick, and low kick. And that's it. That is your progressive indirect attack uh, basics. There are a couple advantages or there's a couple of uh, advanced ones that I've been practicing that I just learned a couple weeks ago. And I'm going to say that for a different video. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned so you can get those other versions. But also let's talk about adding in one ABC, attack by combination. So an attack by combination is any three hits or more. That's what we use here at my gym, Kishi Dojo. So it's got to be an attack of three hits or more. So it could be the cross, the hook, the cross. It could be a cross, uppercut cross. It could be a cross, a body hook cross. It doesn't matter what it is. It just has to be a minimum of three. So if we go back a step, we fake high, we kick, cross, hook, cross, and I kick to get back out. And so fake, kick, one, two, three, kick, and you're out. Again, one more time, fake, kick, one, two, three, and kick. So there you have it. Uh, the progressive indirect attack system as taught to me by Sifu Ron Baliki and also Sifu Dan Inasano. And as far as I understand, it was passed down from C. Joel Bruce Lee. It's fencing terminology, but I know a lot of different people use this stuff like kickboxers and boxers. Everybody uses fakes. They use fakes in football. They use fakes in anything. So fake the attack, set up the real attack. And we did today, we just did a single attack, but you could also do attack by combination. And then finally finish it to get back out of range. So when I did the single attack, I did the kick and I got back out. When I did the attack by combination, I did the three hits and then I kicked to get back out. 
So we're using that to get in and get out. Cool. Well, you know what to do. Hit that like button if you like the video. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button if you like the stuff you see on our channel. And last but not least, do me a favor, hit that bell icon, a ding ding, so you know when all the next videos are coming out from all of us here at Martial Arts Limited. You guys stay safe, keep training, keep your hands up. This is Coach JD, and I'm out.